All right, all right. Shalom, shalom, Israel. Before I start this lesson, we give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, and the brother Tazim Makamath coming from the camp. Prophets in Babylon here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that teach the truth and are well. Peace and citation to the hopeful light that scattered abroad. And what we have today is um, Target. All right, it says Target partners with Satanist designer to create items for pride collection. Okay, and this is in your everyday, you know, Target. You know, you have a Target near you. All right, if you go in their clothing section, they will have this category there. Okay, which just shows you that our world is ran by nothing but wicked, wicked people. Okay. As you can see, it says Satan respects pronouns. Okay. You see? All right. It says too queer for here. And guess what? They show a chariot, man. Which is which is Israel's uh the elect. Salvation, man. See, they black. See, Esau knows, man. And they blaspheme. They blaspheme the truth. They blaspheme the Holy Spirit and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shab, man. Wow, a guillotine. Ain't that something? A homophobe headrest. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you see, they have they have the clothing, they have the shirts, and guess what? They would show Jake with dreadlocks, man. Hey, look, man, you can't you can't get around this, all right? But we're gonna go into it because Esau has Esau has to pay for this, man. Let's actually start with this first scripture. Um. All right, Romans 13, verse 11. And it says, And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Okay? See, salvation is closer than when we believe, man. All this wickedness going on, you know, this is being, um, you know, publicized and, pro you know, using that as propaganda. For something bigger to distract you, man. Okay. Now you have Joe Biden um, telling Uganda to not enforce that, enforce that law that they passed over there, man. Okay. This is, this is something that, that is um, going and spreading throughout the whole earth. Okay. See, all the nations have drunk in the, drinking the wine of Babylon. Okay. Babylon will be America. All these nations have drunk in the, the wine of Babylon and fornication. All right? Because these different nations, they they celebrate this, man. You go you go to our homeland, you got these you got these ish people. All right, they they have the biggest celebration, man, over there. All right? And what what is today? Today is the 31st. All right, and they're pushing, they're pushing this because starting tomorrow and the whole month of tomorrow, which will be June first. All right, that whole month of June, it's a month dedicated to these people, these people that are abominable against Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, okay, which we have to be put, which we have to put them to death, man. Okay, but see, hey, everything is lawful, but not everything is expedient, man. Because we are not in our kingdom, man. We are not in our kingdom, and we can't, we can't, we can't um, enforce that law here. Because we know if we do that, we're gonna be in jail, okay? But you know, according to the laws of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, is lawful, man. Okay, but see, we're under a wicked ruler. Okay, let's actually grab. 
second Ezra's the 15th chapter. And it says, we can start at verse 6. And it says, for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Okay. Wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay. It's not wickedness exceedingly, it's exceedingly polluted the whole earth. Is our earth not polluted? Look, look how our earth is polluted, man, by these people. Okay. Our people, these people have polluted the earth with their, with their abominable acts, when their sinful ways, okay. Let's actually grab this. Uh, in Thessalonians, all right. This is a uh, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse four. It says, "Who opposes, who opposeth, and exalteth." exalteth himself above all that is called God or that is worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of the most high showing himself that he is the most high this man thinks he's the most high okay that's why he cuts off all those all the laws all the laws of the bible man okay because hey, he wants to be worshiped he wants to be praised okay he thinks he has the control of everything Okay, because this man has control of the earth. Let's prove that. When you go to Job chapter 9, verse 24, right? And it says, The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay? If not, where and who is he? Do you see Chinese people? Okay? This man was given the earth. And guess what he's doing to it? All right, he's destroying it. Okay, he's destroying it. You know, he got the shirts, he got the propaganda. All right, this is all an agenda at the end of the day. But not, but Esau, being ignorant, not knowing, this is all a sin that's reaching up to heaven. So let's grab that. All right, this is a uh, book of Revelation, chapter 18, and we can start at, we can start at verse 3. It says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of fornication, right? So all these people, you know, of these different nations, you know, if they don't buy to America's system, you know, you know, they get in trouble. Okay, that's why you got um, our government and president, all right, going to Uganda because that nation needs to drink the wine of the fornication of Babylon, all right, the democracy, the philosophies, you know, the things they push. They need to push that in Uganda, all right. They want this a worldwide thing because guess what? America is a, is a police force uh, country. If something's not going right, they're going to put their nose in it and make it right. Okay? And it says, For all nations have drunken of the wine, have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Right? All these different nations have committed adultery with, with Babylon, man. With this whore. Because this whore is going to get them destroyed, right? It says, And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich, through the abundance of her delicacies, okay? Because America is a consumer consumer country, all right? All they do is buy, 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 all right? So you got China and all these different places that sell products to America. And all they do is make, make China and them rich, okay? <laughs> Verse 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues, because America is going to get hit with 200 million nuclear missiles. All right, we're going to actually hear a voice, okay, and we're going to be beamed, Lord willing, we be the elect, we're going to be beamed up in those chariots. Okay, we're going to hear that voice say, come out of her, it says, uh, come out of her, my people. So 
Lord willing, we'll be that led. We're going to be raised up when this place is about to get hit with nuclear missiles, all right? Because a plague is the nuclear missiles, all right, that the Lord is bringing to this um, this whole country, all right? Which this whole country is going to be uh, deserted. Verse 5, it says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High have remembered her iniquities. Okay? See, what the Lord is doing is stockpiling sins and iniquities that America is doing. Okay, you see this? This is sin. The sins are stacking up, man. Okay? These are sins that are stacking up. All right? And guess what? We we speak out against this. And guess what? They have a guillotine for people like us. You see this? Hey, nothing is a coincidence, man. All right? They want they want people like us that stand up against these evil doers. So I should grab that. Because um This is Psalm 94 and 16. It says who will rise up for me against the evil doers? The evil doers will be these people, so called these so uh Edomites, man. So called white race. Alright, these are the evil doers because these are the wicked. Okay? Who's gonna rise up for me? Who's gonna rise up with the Lord and speak out against these evil doers, man? Right? It says, or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? These people are workers of iniquity, sin upon sin, man. Okay? And we're the ones that rising up and speaking out against it. And guess what? They got a whole little pin, homophobe headrest. Okay? Because guess what? That's not again that's not according to the law, statute, and commands of the Bible, man. Okay? Man sleeping with mankind, woman sleeping with womankind. All right, men changing, you know, their sex. Woman changing their sex, man. Okay, nah, man, that's that's not right. And guess what? They they got a whole a whole store that people like to go to is Target. Okay, and they're selling clothing like this, pins and bags, promoting this, man. All right, and they got children clothing for for uh for these people. Okay, you see. So these people got to they got to pay man their sins reaching up unto heaven. It says Satan respects pronouns, all right? When it says actually I got a I got a money, I got a $20 bill right here. We're going to read actually what it says. All right. So I got a $20 bill. All right, and the back it says United States of America and God we trust. Who who is who is Esau's God, man? Esau's God is Satan, okay? Esau's God is Satan, man, okay? Because this is not the, they don't serve the true high power. Yeah, how about you, Mel Shai, man? Remember, we read that they sit of, in the temple of the Most High, thinking they are the Most High, man. They don't They don't believe in, in our power because they're bastards, okay? These are the left-hand side, man. They're ruled and controlled by Satan, okay? And guess what? Satan's going to put them in a dark ditch because Satan works for the Yahweh Shemel Shah. And this is all this is all according to the story. Okay, but we have to go through all this wickedness and this evil, all right, that this person is doing upon this earth. Okay? All right, it says pride, this shirt right here, and I'm reading on the right hand side. It says pride, um, a pralian adult cure transphobia sweatshirt. Wow, man! Like, what are we, what are we reading here? Okay, let's get this. Second Ezra two and thirteen. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you, that day may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. All right. So each and every day we must pray for fewer days. All right, pray for fewer days because this place can't go no, no much longer. All right, and, this, and you know, the caption says, so it's time to stop shopping at Target 
We don't need y'all. Target partnered with a Satanist designer for their pride collection for June. We are moving into dangerous times. Target needs to keep this up so we know where they stand. It's time to speak up and boycott these companies. We are on the end times. All right, and I have watched a video. I don't know where it's at, but basically a man has showed, you know, a shirt to a Target employee. All right. And she's and he said, um, do you support this? And she, and she basically said, um, yeah, I do. She's like, uh, so he's like, so you don't believe in God? And she's like, no, I don't believe in. Uh, uh. She's like, oh, do you believe in God? Um, and he and she said, no, I don't believe in God. OK, I don't believe in God at all. I don't believe anything that's going to happen. All right, and this is Psalms 14 and 1. All right, it says, The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. So all these atheists even amongst our people, okay, even, you know, all these other nations, all right, they say in their heart that there is no God. A fool said in his heart, which means your mind, that there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. So they so they think in their mind that there is no God, so they think they can just do whatever they want. All right, and say whatever they want. But soon enough they're gonna feel and feel the, the pure vengeance of Yahweh Shimal Shah, man. Because this place is Sodom in Egypt. All over again, spiritually. This is uh Revelation chapter eleven, verse eight. And it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is America. Right? And it says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Okay? So, what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom and Gomorrah was burned by fire and brimstone. Fire rained from uh, from heaven. The same thing that's going to happen to America. Okay? Except you're going to see nuclear missiles. Something that's, you know, 10 times more, 100 times more. Imagine the sun hitting your hitting your state, man. Okay, you're going to get burnt to a crisp like toast. All right? You're going to be like water that's evaporated. Okay, it says, which is spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, which Egypt represents bondage. Okay? We are still in our captivity here. It says, where also our Lord was crucified, which means that our Lord was crossed out here. We don't know about the true power of our God here. They think he's a love and love everybody, everybody going to be saved type of God. All right? Which is not true. All right? And they whitewash the images of our power. Okay? So you see, this man has to go. This man has to go. Okay? Let's grab this. I'm not going to make it too long. All right? So Rock 10. Verse 3, it says, An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. Okay, an unwise king destroyeth his people, man. This is an unwise king. He destroyed all the people, man. Okay? All the people. Okay, he destroy your food, he destroy your water. He he you know he puts it on the media, he puts it on your TV. Okay, these shows, he has a whole month dedicated to these people, man. You're going to see nothing but commercials. You're going to go to stores. You're going to see nothing but but pride. You're going to see pride, 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 pride. That's all you're going to see. And guess what? Pride coming before destruction, man. Okay? So this man, this man's pride has lifted him up to the, to the ceiling where he feels like he can't get destroyed, man. But guess what? That's the same thing that happened to Pharaoh. Let's actually grab that. Romans, the ninth chapter, in the 17th verse. And it says, For the scriptures say unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up. All right, so remember, the Lord is the one that set him up and bring him down. So if the Lord bring, bring him up Esau, he's certainly going to bring him down because the earth is in the power of the Lord. Okay? And it says, even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, 
and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. All right, so, and guess what? When the Lord comes back, everybody's going to know the true power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, the true living power of Israel. Okay, everybody's going to know the true power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai once he takes his devil out of power, destroys his system, destroys his rulership, man. Okay, because guess what? This place is going to be as an example of Sar Sodom and Gomorrah was an example of ways not to be. Okay, and guess what? The Lord made this place just like that. All right, when you you can go to Sodom and Gomorrah today, it's a desert. Okay, you you see nothing but bones, uh, you know, sulfur. It's lucky it got cut off, but I was the same. All right, this place is just an example of Sodom and Gomorrah. So if that place became a desert, okay, and guess what? This place, you can go over there, you can see an example of what's happening over there. And guess what? The same thing's going to happen over here, okay? Because this place is going to be a desert. It's going to be full of uh, desert creatures, okay? There's going to be no life here, man, all right? So you see, everything happens for a reason, man. And this, and this is Esau's punishment. Okay, Esau think he could just rule the earth how he wants to, controls it how he wants to. But guess what? It's all going to be done at the end, all right? He's going to get punished for all the iniquity he has put upon the earth, all right? So with that, Lord willing, let's be edifying. We're to give our honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Kadash. Next time I say Shalom.